Hi everybody, it's Mrs. Alex. I'm here today to do an activity with you. Um, we're gonna make a straw flute. And when you were in third grade, you probably did sound, a bunch of sound activities. And if you'll remember, sounds are made by what? What word? Begins with a V, three syllables. Vibrations. If you said vibrations or you thought about vibrations, good for you, because you were right. Um, anyway, so we're gonna make a flute out of a straw. And it's very easy to do. It's just really difficult to play. You just have to keep trying and keep trying and don't give up because eventually you can play it. And my eventually came today, actually. I've played it better today than I have ever played in the last like 20 years or so. Anyway, um, you remember that, I hope, that sound can travel through different substances, like sound can, can travel through air, uh, by sound waves, by vibrations, that's what a sound wave is, and it can travel through solids and also liquids, and it's different um, wherever it's traveling from, or through, rather, I'm sorry, through. And so today we're gonna do, it's our sound wave is going to be traveling through a column of air that's in this straw. Now, the first thing you do is get a straw. Mine is a bendy straw, but I don't really think it matters um, if yours is a bendy straw or not. And I'm gonna pull out the bendy part. And mine's also a recyclable straw. It's just all that I, all I have, but although I'm a science teacher, I should be recycling, right? Okay, uh, anyway, uh, first thing you're gonna do is uh, tell your parents if they're dentists that they don't have to worry about any of this because they, it's all safe for your teeth. Nothing to worry about, okay? And um, what I want you to do is take, you see how, you see how the straw is rounded? Oh, I can see through that. Oh, wow. Um, never done that before. So you see that it's rounded. So you're just gonna take that, and you have to use your teeth to flatten the straw. But these teeth, they won't work. You have to use your molar. So you have to put the straw just kind of um, where your mouth is gonna go, kind of like um, here, about the first knuckle of your finger, fingertip, something like that. And it doesn't have to be exact, so you don't have to measure it. And you're gonna put the straw on your molar, back teeth, and then you're gonna bite, not real super hard, just, you know, gently, and then pull, okay? Uh, and because this is recyclable, and it's made out of cellulose, it, it kind of flattens really fast, but I'm gonna give it another one. Alrighty. So make your straw, make your straw flat like that, as, as good as you can do. So don't worry about it, because it does not have to be perfect. You're not a machine, and uh, only machines are, make things that are perfect. Anyway, the next thing you're gonna do is cut uh, a very small triangle. You won't really probably be able to see me doing this, but you can tell that I cut a very small a triangle off the end, off the edge. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. And they don't have to be even. You can see that, um, oh, mine's very crooked, but it will still work. Don't even worry about it. So then this is the, that was the easy part. Now comes the hard part, okay? So this this acts as like, like a reed in like an oboe or, or, a, or a reed instrument that Dr. Morse may have taught you about, or maybe in the band uh, you might've learned about. So when you put this in your mouth, obviously, and you're blowing, obviously the air goes between the reeds and causes them to vibrate. And that vibration 
starts moving down inside the tube through the column of air that's in the tube, the straw. And, uh, and it makes a sound that sounds like maybe a duck call. I've noticed that my dog, Winslow, this is the third video I've made because he's like ruined the first two. He's, he, he's, he really loves this sound and I'm thinking it's resonating in, uh, you know, his, his history of, as being a dog and a retriever. He's maybe thinking it's a duck. I, I don't know, but all I know is that when, when I, he's out, he's got to be outside or he comes and actually literally jumps on me. It's kind of weird. Anyway, um, so then you're just going to like put your lips together a little bit like that and you're going to gently blow, all right? You don't want to blow super hard. And you're also inserting the whole part that I'm calling the reed. That has to be in your mouth, you know, past your lips. Um, if you can't play, then don't give up. Keep on trying, all right? Because... Um, this is like the first time I've really played ever. So hold, watch. <laughs> See what I mean? Oh, ah, ah, that was long. That was a whole, excuse me, that was a whole breath. <laughs> to change that that pitch um i just t i turned the reed a different direction I, instead of it being like that i turned it like that in my mouth and pitch is a sound waves um are measured in frequencies and if you've got a high sound then uh, it, there's going to be a high pitch and usually high pitches go with short straws or short tubes, okay? Like, yay, yay, all righty. Okay, so compared to, oh, please play, please play. See that? So, that was true, and I was lucky that it, they, they both played. Yeah, all right, on demand. Um, so anyway, that's the basics of it. So the higher the pitch, the, the faster the wave, and the shorter the distance between the waves, okay? And if it's, there's a low pitch, then that means the wave, the sound wave is going slower, and there's more distance between the, the sound, the top and the bottom of the sound wave. Okay. So the other thing you can do is, um, I did this ahead of time, is you can, you can actually make this like really like a flute. What you have to remember is you can put, um, put dots with a marker and just put dots where you're gonna cut little notches or um, use a hole puncher. And don't make the mistake. I, I drew these arrows because I made a mistake. I did, here's my, here are my reeds. This is the top. And I put my holes on the side, which made it really difficult for me to play. So, um, so that's why I, I thought, well, you know, if I just put if I draw an arrow to the where the top is and what the part that goes in my mouth is, and then I could put dots on the right side, and I wouldn't mess that up. So I thought that was a pretty good idea. Anyway, that is um, how you make a straw flute. And you can uh, play songs. Like I can play, uh, well, I hope I can play, um, uh, twinkle twinkle little star okay I, I i thought about playing the theme of from rocky but then i thought well wait a minute here you know <laughs> let's be real all right so um let me see if i can play this join me join me oops oops um i'm gonna 
I'm going to try this one. <laughs> Try playing handless with that hand. <laughs> I'm getting frustrated here, but okay, hold on here. I'm gonna try this guy. I found my friend. All right, so go find your friend and uh, enjoy making your straw flute. Bye-bye. <laughs> See you later.